In a moment, we will be discussing how to avoid four of the most common but avoidable problems plaguing many McAfee deployments. First, we want to be able to validate that every endpoint has the McAfee agent installed. Like most endpoint management solutions, EPO's architecture relies on agents installed on every managed endpoint in the organization. These agents must be configured accurately on each endpoint for the solution to be available and effective. Unfortunately, agent-based technologies are susceptible to a common weakness. Agents themselves can be disabled or missing, rendering the associated solution uselessly unavailable. Next, we want to validate that the five required services and five processes associated with VirusScan are configured and running correctly. If any one of these fails because it is stopped, it is a critical problem that the EPO console cannot remediate alone. And last, we want to validate that the signature file is up to date within acceptable guidelines. Hi, my name is Paul Wallen with Promisec. In this session, I'm going to show you how to use Promisec's unique agentless technology providing 100% visibility and control of your endpoints, which can help stabilize and improve your McAfee experience. Let's get started. First, we need to choose an IP range or a group of machines to inspect. There are several ways we can do this, including selecting a host name, IP range, or through integration with Active Directory, which is the common method used in most uh, Promisec deployed enterprises. As you can see, I have selected six various hosts, which I've added to our inspection in the pane here. Now, as you can see, I can simply add a host name or an IP address if I wanted to inspect a machine individually. I can go over to a domain, and I can import the Promisec uh, Active Directory. I can do the whole container, uh, or I can do a specific group, or an individual machine, or I could do by IP range. Doing it by IP range ensures that all machines on that network segment will be inspected, even if they are not part of the Windows domain or another security domain. So this will ensure that all and no hosts will be left behind. Next, let's take a look at the custom McAfee configuration template that will define our inspection criteria and policies. This configuration template provides all of the technical requirements we need to inspect the health and status of our McAfee deployment. It includes all five of the required services and associated process required for full VirusScan functionality as well as potentially useful registry information pertaining to VirusScan that will likely prove very valuable in the ongoing management and maintenance of your VirusScan deployment. The solution that we are going to use will leverage your existing domain or local admin credentials to inspect your network without having to utilize WMI, ActiveX, or dissolvable agents. As you can see here, when we go to the, the machine services, we find the five McAfee virus scan services that were installed during the point of installation. We see the engine service, we see the framework service, the McShield, the task manager, and the validation trust protection. The other three are for ePolicy Orchestrator, which is the server um, console that's running on this endpoint right now. So we're inspecting it. Here you can just double click on the service, and as you can see, you have the ability where you can just highlight, cut, copy, and paste out the actual path to the executable come here and put it directly into any one of uh, the services that you want to go ahead and define. This can also be done for the processes as well. So not only are we checking to make sure that the services are on, but we're also checking to make sure the processes are defined and running as well. And here is the executable that is associated with that process. The real power of the inner space solution coupled with the McAfee configuration, which is available on the Promisec website, you can download the solution and especially the configuration that is customized to McAfee, is using our registry to go ahead and build your own registry inspections. Here, simply I've defined quite a few of them. Here I'm checking the agent version, which is very important to make sure you have the latest agent for McAfee to communicate from the endpoint that has VirusScan 8.7 loaded back to the EPO 4.5 console. Here we're also checking to make sure that if Artemis is checked in on. Here we're checking the AV version, making sure that the buffer overload flow version is defined, the DAT date, which is very important to know the actual date, the version, 
the engine version as there is a lot of changes to protect against Trojans. And as you can see, we've also included some key Windows registry selections as well. We can check to see what version of edition of Windows is loaded, what the OS type is, is there a pending system reboot? Again, this is important for the fact that if a patch has been put out there and it hasn't been rebooted, you're not taking advantage of what the patch has to offer. And lastly, the Windows product ID. The Windows product ID will quickly tell you if someone's installed an OS into your enterprise that is not using the proper MSDN keys. Here, we can just bear down on our import. We can do connect to this machine, local machine, or we can connect to a gold standard machine very, very quickly. Here, as you can see, we have HKey Local, Hardware, Software. We're going down to McAfee. We're clicking on the information. We can click on down on the AV engine if we'd like. Here's where we can find out important information on the DAT uh, version. We right click and we look for both the value and the data. Here we have the ability to search by any means by typing in the word any. This will dump any information regardless of what version is loaded on the endpoint onto into the Interspace console. Here as well, if I go ahead and minimize this, I can bring up the security configuration. And what we can do here is I'm on the repair options. If we find one of the services turned off, we have the ability to go ahead, repair the service from being disabled, and put it back on as being part of our policy compliance. So we have the ability during the point of inspection to check for the registry items. And at the same time, if we find an endpoint whose services have been disabled due to an, a, a load of a new software version or a user has inadvertently turned it off, we can automatically during the inspection repair it, turn it back on, thus making sure that the endpoint's security posture is at its best. More than just another monitoring and inspection tool, this solution provides robust auto and right-click remediation capabilities that can probably help make quick work of some of the most challenging ViruScan EPO deployment problems. Here, what we see are the results of our inspection, here within the Promisec Interspace console. Here you have the ability to sort on any of the columns to group together all your findings or sort through them as quickly as you desire. So you can click on last ho date, host name, IP address, object, logged on user, status, and additional information. Also, at the same time, we've gone ahead and predefined actions that are available for you to diagnose your EPO virus scan deployment. Here we find that if we have an agent that hasn't communicated with the EPO console uh, because the last uh, check-in date is greater than a, a significant time frame of your policy, we have the ability to find and send a ping down to it from the console or from a local or remote sentry. We can do trace route as another example, or we find a machine that has not been rebooted yet because we found in the results the system string, we have the ability to send a reboot down to it. More importantly, if we find a uh, endpoint that's virus definitions are more than out of date of what you've set your policy, we have the ability to go to the local endpoint or at the endpoint of the century and kick off the make update. So we're making a local function call to the local host and kicking off the update, all without a agent. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here we find that one of the definitions are out of date. Here, being that is the 16th of November, we find that the last update was on 927. We do know we must stay current within our policy of a day to three days to keep our dats up to speed. Here, I'm just right clicking on it. I'm going to user defined, bringing up the remote, and I have the ability to kick off McAfee's auto update on the endpoint. So I can kick off any executable that is needed to help secure the endpoint. At the same time, one of the things that we found at the point of inspection was one of the virus scan services was turned off and wasn't running. So what we've gone ahead and done is predefined in the module earlier that this service was disabled, we found it, corrected it, set it to automatic and restarted the service altogether, helping automate the process of remediation, the EPO virus scan deployment. Here as well, as we scan further down, we have found an endpoint that doesn't have antivirus loaded. This happens from time to time. Users, uh, other installers have could have had a conflict and caused the antivirus to be removed. Here we can right click and use 
the inner space capabilities from Promisec to go ahead and roll out the MSI, the VirusScan MSI. Here I'm going to go ahead and bear down on the setup VirusScan executable. I'm going to go ahead and install it and I have the ability to hit start and kick it off. I'm going to go ahead and not kick it off for the purposes of this demonstration. All at the same time, I can sort all the additional information together too as well. Here I can see all the engine versions that are there, uh, all the buffer overflow versions. I'm even finding specific uh, difference in the overflow version DAT. We have a 499 versus 516. Here we're finding that we have the older agent 4.0 versus the newer agent which is 4.5. Very important. Here we're also seeing the last time of the, the agent check-in. So we can very quickly find out in our virus scan deployment what's going on so we can quickly make decisions to make sure and optimize our endpoints. Here again, we're not trying to take away from the EPO console. The EPO console is a great product and tool that manages the policies. Here we're optimizing the endpoint with 100% visibility without any agents. Also at the same time, we do have the ability to take a look at other various installed applications and processes that are running on the endpoint. Just in case that there's a virus down on the endpoint, we can kill the process or the virus and thus get McAfee updated and out to the endpoint, thus mitigating a outbreak. Continuing on, in our inner space console, we have gone into our report module. Here we specifically have gone into our security reports. We have available over 21 detailed reports. Here we have four very important reports at the top related back to your EPO virus scan deployment. Here we can get a general uh, consensus of a detailed report of our deployment. We can find specifically what antivirus is not installed, not running, or is outdated. Here we've gone ahead and pulled up and generated an antivirus general detail report. Here we can find out of the five hosts what our AV is doing. Here we can go in and also trend issues over time so we can do trending of our AV coverage. Here we, you can see that we've had a summary of 15 issues on the endpoints and they've been grouped together. Here we get the information on the actual date and time, the machine's name, IP address, last logged in user, and of it what the actual issue was. And we have the severity issue of them as well. Another report that's run many, many times within uh, security enterprises related back to McAfee's EPO and AV is the executive detail report. Here we find not only about where uh, things are happening in the AV side of the fence, but what other devices and specific malware potentially on one of programs, shares, and other things that impact a posture of a security in an enterprise. Here, Promisec has robust reports that are available that can be generated, automated, scheduled, and delivered to your inbox. Thanks for watching. For a free, no obligation trial of this solution, contact us via email at sales at promisec.com or visit us on the web at www.promisec.com.